Catherine and I'm going to be taking you through the Atomic Absorption Spectrometer. This instrument is provided by Varian and its model is an AA240. So we're going to have a look at how we can actually atomise a sample and then see its absorbance. So the first part of this type of analysis is to introduce a sample into the system and that's done using this fine capillary tube. So our sample will be drawn up into this capillary tube and it's going to make its way into the nebulizer. So I just pull this heat guard off and have a clear look at what's going on in here. So a sample is drawn into the capillary tube and this white section here is called the nebulizer. And this is where the sample that's already in a mist becomes an even finer mist, a very, very fine spray of droplets of your solution containing your sample, the metals. Those droplets um, are created by the nebulizer, are moved using carrier gases into this burner slot, which is where the flame is. So the gases have two roles. Their first role is to sweep your sample of droplets into the flame, and secondly, once they're in the flame, to act as a fuel, so that our flame happens at very, very high temperatures, over a thousand degrees and above, depending on the mixture of gases that we use. Once our sample gets into our flame, three different things happen. First is desolvation, and all that means is that the solvent that's used to dissolve our sample is burnt off, so we're left with compounds. And then the compounds break down or decompose because of the really high temperatures, and then we have free atoms and ions which are up there in our flame. At this point, a light is shone through the base of the flame, and this is where we can get excitation of electrons that are within the atom or ion that we're interested in looking at. And this light comes from a hollow cathode lamp. Over here in this section of the instrument, we have a range of hollow cathode lamps. Now in your textbooks you might have seen um, some instruments and they just have one hollow cathode lamp. The lamp is specific for different elements. So for instance this top lamp we use for calcium, magnesium or aluminium metals. So our light will be generated from this lamp at set wavelengths and will then be able to pass through our sample. So at the moment what we will have is a range of different atoms and ions burning in our flame. And as we pass the light through, that light is specific for an, a particular element. So if I was looking for magnesium, a specific wavelength of light is going to be passing through my flame. Any magnesium atoms will be excited, their electrons will be excited to a higher energy level. And then, as they return to their ground state, they'll give off that energy in the form of photons of light. So what will happen is these photons of light will pass through to the detector which is in this part of the instrument. And the instrument will actually be able to see an increase in the amount of light that's transmitted between what comes through normally and when you put a sample in, extra light's going to be given off. And that's converted to um, a function of absorbance. And so we can use an AAS to determine what's present in our sample. Say if I'm looking for magnesium, if there's any magnesium present. And secondly, how much is present by how much light or energy has been absorbed.